Here we go. Welcome back. Aiden's in the house. I've had Aiden sweating this morning and let him have a break already. He's pushed two cars. He watched me, he watched me fall. He's had a good morning. He's had some sweat rolling, haven't you? Absolutely. He's had some sweat rolling. Uh, what I've done since the last of the video, I come out here and I weld at the bottom of this door shut. Basically what I'm going to do is, or what I've done, okay, come on and take a look at it. I've welded the bottom of the door shut like that. I used a YouTuber's or a friend that has sent in the, the rods. I don't know what you call these, just steel rods, I guess. Use a steel rod all the way across there just for the material because when you weld two edges like that together, it'll burn off quite quick. But what I got going on is I've got one edge, I had one edge of the door sticking out further than the other. One was fitting half decent, one was sticking out funny. So what I did is, I thought that the back fit the best. When I put it on the door, the back fit the best. The front did not. I could not attach it back on to get it to fit exactly, so I need Aiden's help. I'm gonna get you with the welder, please, Aiden. I'm gonna get you starting with the welder. That's what we'll do, we'll get him geared up like that. And what's going on is the front's sticking out too far. I wanna put the front in where it should be. So I've snipped it off on this edge. I welded on this side and I tacked it on this side. So I've tacked it, untacked this side on the side of the door. I'm saying this one's okay. Now I can take this one and I can bend it up and put it where I want. Once that's welded, it, it's, a, it's a hard thing to bend. I might be able to dolly this up a little bit to make it fit this edge. But when it comes to the ends where I want that to fill out and look nice, I want it to fit as best I can for now. So basically that's it. When we get this tacked in place, I'm going to take the door off on the other side. I've got to flip the door over. There's two pieces that have to be made there. So I'm going to get Aiden to make some more pieces for the vehicle is what I'm going to get. And I made a mistake. Last time I said he's put two pieces in or three pieces in. But no, you put this one, that one, and the other one over there. That's three, four, five. Did you, you didn't, I did them on the other side. You put four or five pieces in this thing so far. Awesome. Doing good. Doing good. Good to have him back. I need it to push this morning. You got your gloves ready? Let's rock and roll. Let's turn that thing on. I think the gas is off. Uh, I just turned it off at the tank. I didn't turn it off. I never turn that off, okay? Keep I down. never do that. Just, just turn that off. There you go. What has to happen, this is gonna be quick and easy, I guess, or well, quick and easy, but quick and easy, I guess. So I'm just gonna keep tacking the door on where I think it did not fit right up here at the front. I wasn't happy with it, so I wanted to move it. So see, you can see where I had it tacked on before. I just came in here with the zip cut and knocked it off. It didn't fit there before. I just wanted to go up a little bit higher. Just gonna check his wire. Just go up a little bit higher. Let's snack. Let's tack it. Look, can we tack it on right here on the corner? We'll just yeah. do the corner here. Just do that. I'm gonna say that's it. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'd rather snip off one weld than two. I couldn't hold it like that and put the pressure on it and weld it too. I couldn't get any vice grips on it, and I was kind of like, uh, it was ten at night. <laughs> it was ten at night. I thought we could have time to go see Jolene, and uh, I shut her down. I'm waiting for Aiden this morning. Aiden. We'll shut that off for a second. I'm just going to stick this door on. You stick close by. There's no reason for anything else. Actually, you can get, try to gear up your welder for the other side. I'm not sure it was geared up yet. Okay. But I'm going to pull the door. We'll get the. We'll get, grab another bench in there and take it over. And that'd be a bench we can put the door on. And I'll tell you why. Because there's a little bit more welding on the hood that I'd like to see you do. And I'd like to see that, you know, bounce around. Mm -hmm and do a little bit of welding on it all and, and instead of getting anything hot at all. That all makes right. sense. All right. Woo. Well, well.
No, I don't think I did that right. Now I'm gonna get it. You can t you can tack this stuff right here, Aiden. You can do this. Do it. And along there, I don't need. I don't want. Well, you can do a couple tacks across there, but basically just weld that up and weld that along there. You can go in between there. This has to be ground back just a little bit to get to that piece of metal flapper wheel. But you can weld that along there if you want to take your time, put the air to it. Uh, we'll take this door off right now. See where I'm going to play with that for a second. I'm going to take this off so we can, so we can get, get, get busy. And you want to pull that out for me? I'll give him a, a bunch of stuff to do. I've got that door messed up over there. I've got to undetach it. So I'll have you running back and forth on this stuff. Uh, you'll want, hmm, I don't know if you even want it like that. You probably want it up like this. You can, you can do the, make the patterns for that. See how, see how this right here is. I don't know how many things I got you doing so far, probably six or seven, but at least I know you'll be busy. Oh, yeah. This, this right here is your, your highest spot, okay? I don't want the metal laying on top of that. I like to see you cut that metal and go around that and lay it on top of this. And remember, when we do this, we can't have the metal out to here. Got to have the metal in about there. So when we, when we grind it off, we get a nice job done. This metal has to be the exact same way on this, 45 all the way. Same thing, same piece, same, and cut it in around here, bring it in here, and then try to make it the same playing field somewhat. You can do that with a piece of cardboard. You're more than welcome to that. And I will be hollering for you at any point in time. So you can pick and choose a little bit. Once you get, the, if, once you get a couple pieces made, then you start tacking them on. Then I would just suggest doing that. And then you can go over here and go tack, 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 and then tack, tack, tack. And there might be a couple more places to tack, tack, tack. So you can make those pieces if you like. Yeah. So I think that's the best way to go. I've got this wrong over here. I keep pushing. Well, I say wrong, but is it wrong or is it right? I like this fit on the back of the door. I do, I like this fit on the back of the door. The way it's fitting there, it fits nice. It's not bad here, but it's kicked out here. It's quite something. I'm still in too far. Gonna let it off. I'm still in too far. Da, 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 da. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. It's a beautiful day. Isn't it, baby? Jolene's looking amazing today. Jolene's got her Fiat here on the outside here. Take a run around, her, baby. Show them your Fiat. She got someone to come take a look at it. She says if she doesn't get her price, she's keeping it. And I said, well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. She loves the little car, don't you? Yep, she loves the little car. I think it's because it's yellow and small. I guess that's good enough, isn't it? <laughs> what? It's yellow and it's small. I didn't... Did I hide my glasses, did I? I wonder if I hid them bad boys. Oh, there they are, got them. No worries, Aiden. All right. I'll, I'll try to look after myself from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Clamp them back on where they were, where it was. See what I can get it looking like. You're just tracing, right, Aiden? Yep. Sir. Just tracing. See if I can hold that on there. Aiden, can I get you to help me for a second? Yep. Please and thank you. I'd hate to get you running all the time, but. Need the welder? No, just need. Okay. I, I can. I can weld it, hold it. I guess. 
when I need to. You can weld it, I guess, if you want to, instead of me clamping it. Just that I can't, I can't hold it, tack it on. I can't do it all. I can't. I want to, but it just it's not working. Yeah. And this is trial and error. I have to put it off and on, off and on, off and on to see if it fits or not. And there's not much more I can do. I can't put it on and try to get in there. I can't. I think if I put it on and did it. Same spot. Let's try that. Thank you. It's good enough. It's on for life. Wonderful. Thank you. No. And then once I get that done, then I can make, piece, make some curb bristle board pieces to fit the edges and then weld them in. Uh, it, it is getting monotonous because I've already done this before on the other side. But it has to be done. You have two doors. Aiden was going to go look at a, a Suburban. And I said, do you realize there's six doors or <laughs> six doors on that thing? Uh, when you start fixing, there's a, there's a lot of fixing. It's an awful big first project, you know. But uh, I think he's got something in mind. This door is going to need some tweaking. No. Nope. What if I do that? I'm going the wrong way with the door, I think. And what I mean by going the wrong way, I should be going. Push on when I push on this one, it goes in, right? Where it sort of fits on the door up here. But when I push it back here, this is where the door fits nice back here. And then I have a gap going on here. I can play with this lip. I can. I can beat the lip in. I can. Yes, I can. I think I think that's what it might do. I might relieve it in here and try to get this closer up here because it's fitting so nice everywhere else. The lines are nice. That's nice. That fits nice. That fits nice. That fits nice. I can dolly that to wherever it is. I'm going to leave it right there. Yes, I am. Pretty sure. Oh, there's the thing to blow up the wheels. You're free. Aiden, you're free. You're free as a bird. <laughs> you're free as a bird. Free as a bird. You're free as a bird. I'm going to have to play with that edge a little, a little bit. I'm going to hit it with a hammer. Yes, I am. don't generally like hitting things with a hammer. But when things aren't fitting exactly right, that's what you do. You grab a hammer. You're going to... Oh, you're obviously put, you put that on there. Okay, you just put... Good old fuck, man. I didn't say nothing. Just go back to work, Chad. Right on, man. Right on. I know one thing for sure. It tightens up the door skin when I take the edge of it and I'm laying it in a little bit. Sure does take any... Take... I don't mind that. No, no, no. It's good, actually. That can be brought up a little bit. That's not bad at all. That fits nice down there. Well, that's not so, so nice there. Hey, 
Josh trying to beat her. To be honest with you, a pair of anything, just to get a hold of that and just kind of pull it down. What that's going to do is when I bend that, that's going to make that stronger and stronger. It's going to stretch it because it's going to get, it's going to stretch it. Simple as that. And I'll bring this one up a little bit on the inside of that one. This is going to be folded down a little bit. When I go like this, taking some of my thumb, this needs to be folded down in some. So I'm just going to mark it. Didn't get ready. Just kind of said, let's do it. And that's the way we like to do it here. Isn't that right, baby? I just want to mark it where it's I want to dolly it in a little bit. So from there. To there. I can see that. Just want to knock it with a hammer a little bit. Just want to put something behind it, knock it a little bit. This can be brought out some. This is out a little bit. This is down a little bit. That's fine. Just hit, knock it out a little bit with a hammer. I'm trying to get it to fit as best I can is all I'm doing. Also, from there to here somewhere, I'm going to add some more weld, but I want to bend it down first to see what it looks like. So I got this far to bend down. I want to bend it down in there. It might, it might give me the same gap as this one, but I want to check it. It's good up the back. Good going down here. Good going down there. That's fine. That's good. Got to be bent in a little bit. Looks good. Basically, this is what's got to be done. This is what's got to be done to make the door fit. I had some channel locks right there. Yeah. Just going to take some channel locks, go down the edge of this door, and bend it a little bit. Yes. Look at that. See me bending it. Just trying to get the lip to fit. And when I'm bending that, it sure is making that metal tight, stretching it. I will undercoat these doors when I'm done. Yes, I will. And the reason being is, is they've been welded on. They've been ground, they'll have filler on them, and I do not want it coming off because I didn't undercoat them. Get nice undercoating underneath of something that you have fixed, you generally will not have a problem. Uh, it depends on the area you live in too, like here in Nova Scotia we have all kinds of different weather. We could have a, a, a wind windstorm and high brush fires here in a minute, or, or a snowfall, just <laughs> that's the way it is here. And it's true, but um, we have different weather here, and we have to really go over and beyond to make our cars last if we want. I just took that with the channel locks, just bent that down a little bit. Going to try it on again, and then I'll try it on again, and then I'll try it on again. But uh, I've welded that on already. <laughs> Can't bend that up. Can't bend that up. Going to bend it down some more, just a little bit more, not much more, but a little bit more. This can be knocked down on this edge, and I don't know if I want to knock it down too much. Not bad. If the door is high on this side. That means the filler's got to go on this side to make it, you know, to fit nice. And that way there, the door, it's, it's, it's good to have 
the door on the high spot because I can put the filler on this side and when you see the edge of the door it's not going to be all thick to get the door to fit the truck. When you open the door of the truck it's going to be a nice thin thin going all the way around, nice thin uh, sh piece of metal going all the way around. So when you open up it'll look nice. If I get it going that I have to, this is out too high and then I have to put the filler on the door, guess what? The door gets thicker. Me and Jolene were looking at a car in PEI, the 47 Ford. You could tell that car was very, very, very nice because the edge of the doors were just so perfect that um, you knew that there was either no work done or whoever did it was really good. Basically, the end of it. If the work's good, <laughs> and the, that means the car's good. So basically, what I'm saying is, it's good that I have the high side on the metal this side than on the other side because of filler. Just trying to make the door fit as good as possible. That's all I'm doing. Are you playing... Uh, are you playing, uh, what's it called in the morning when you go to church there? Uh, not church, but that's where I learned to use my scissors. Sunday school. That's Sunday. where I learned to use my scissors, Aiden. Sunday school? Sunday school, yeah. Mr. Woodburn, I think his name was, yeah. Yeah. Building rockets. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say arts and crafts. Rockets sounds more fun. Yeah, building rockets and... Man, I was some interested though. I'll give you. I'll tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. some interested. That's for sure. Went from rockets to cars. <laughs> well, just making something, you know. Oh yeah. I really enjoy the the idea of making something. There's no better gratification than making something. Ask me. I know. I got a pattern. You got a pattern? Yes. Now you're going to metal. Going to metal. You're going to metal. You can pick up any piece of 18 gauge back there that you want. Um, yeah. I shoved a little hard. It didn't sound like it hit hard. That's perfect. What happened? Voila. Sorry. Worked perfect. Good. Yeah, I was pushing on the door over here, which dumped that door on that side, uh, which... Alrighty, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm a little... A little more. Just a little bit more in the middle, and then I'm going to add some weld. A little bit more in the middle, I'm going to add some weld. I got this fitting pretty good down around there now. You know, good enough that I could put a hinge on it and be happy with it. Need put it down a little bit more in the middle. All I'm doing is bending the edge of this and manipulating it to thinking that it's perfect. Just bending the edge of it down a little bit. That edge is all welded. Just hold still, it won't hurt. That's where the, I went into the dentist one time. There was a lady getting a tooth pulled. She started screaming. He said, you make a good wrestler. She said, why is that? He said, you got the screaming down. <laughs> I, I laughed. I, I thought that was funny. <laughs> I made sure I didn't scream. <laughs> I got the screaming down. All right, let's put this on there, see what happens. Now, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Now that fits the bottom of that opening. I still got to put filler on the edge of that. And I still got to make that a little bit 
this gap here, I like this gap here, and I like this gap up here. I'm going to make this from probably here to there. I'm going to add, I'm going to add, just add metal. This, this. I didn't turn it upside down because when I weld it, it's up. It's not, you know, whatever. I've just stretched that metal some more. I'm just going to add some filler rod on the end of it. I'm just going to tack it on. And put another piece on. And that'll be my filler rod. Because I do not need to weld it up. I need meat. I've always had my green reflectors hat for a good hat. Um, it's getting hot. I sweated and I ruined it. Damn it! The green reflectors. They play at the show usually every year. There's, there's something else there for sure. I want to give a shout out to my good buddy Donnie Viner. I uh, haven't seen Donnie for a while. He's a good friend that works out west. He's got a job building bridges for the last, must be 10, 15, 20 years. He's been away all the time, but I got a phone call from him to find out how he's doing. Usually, you know, we used to hang out all the time. I learned a lot of stuff from him, good and bad. <laughs> I learned a lot of stuff from Donnie Viner. Uh, but he called and just want to give him a shout out. And uh, How you doing, brother? All righty, I'm just going to put this on here. Aiden's at the shear. That's called the Beverly shear, is it not? I think it is. Just so if Aiden wants to buy one. That's what it's called. What do you think, Aiden? Is that easy to use, or you like it, or what do you think? Would you, would, what, would you, what do you tell people that has never used one before? It's good. It takes a few tries to get used to it, but it's going to take a while to get all the, the kinks and stuff out of it. Yeah, you can't get it all, but you can get a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, I see, I see what got going on there. Easy to get started, hard to master. We'll go with that. You can do it, though, Aiden. You can do it, brother. <laughs> All you got to do is put your brain into it. Brain's working. <laughs> Brain's working, is it? It's working. I, I would say your probably works more than most. Uh, like I asked Aiden, what, you don't talk much. He must be listening. So that's how, that's how you, you're a smarter person. Listen. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. She's trying to get the shot. I know people. I'm just trying to tack that there. There. I just want that on the bottom of that. Just want that to stay on the bottom. Tight as possible. That's all I'm wanting. I can grind it off. But right now I need meat. So I don't want to grind it all off. I want to put it on there. Go on there and spot that on. I need another little piece. I know that for sure. Way down to here, I think. So I'm going to grab a piece. Wow. Broke off some fast, didn't it? Sorry about that, sweetheart. Ouch. Right between my fingers. Doesn't 
take much with a thin rod. It burns quick. It burns quick. I'll stick it on there and burn it all at the same time. So what I think I've got there is I've got enough on there. Actually, let's go for it. I'll show you how I do it. I'll get an air hose. Got to get an air hose out front. We got the Jaguar pushed up on the... That was fun. We got the, the Jaguar that we got from Bernie. We got it pushed up on the old... Pushed up on the old trailer. Got no brakes on it. One of the tie rod ends isn't working. But we managed... There it is on the back of the... Back of there, you can see it down there. We managed to get it pushed out of, the, out of the yard, up onto the trailer. And then we have a friend that's gonna try to get it going for us. Basically, we, we either do that with it, or we let it set there like Bernie did. And that's not what we're gonna do. Um, so we're going to see what it takes to get it rocking and rolling, and then we're going to go for it, try to get it running. And uh, if it runs, it will be better for the car than anything. And if it does not, we'll know whether it's any good for anything, <laughs> basically. You can shape that with that little tiny grinder if you want to, but you got to get it flattened out right. Uh, there's a piece of metal around here that I use. Yeah, you're fine on the floor too. Yeah, fine. you're fine. Right. Just pound her flat. comes to that thing again where just leave somebody alone and they'll generally get it done. I've got one small rod connected to this on the bottom of this door now and I'm going to use another one to weld it on because it'll melt. Believe you I. Spreading the heat along. A little air on it. Keep it cool. I put that on there because I want to add material. I'm just going to keep doing that until it's done. Pop it again. I have to do more work to the other side. I really do. I have to take that door and get the door bottom fitting. Right now he's trying to get the hinges done. The amount of fabrication just going into the doors to fit the truck. You know, just just the doors alone, you know, let alone doing the firewall and doing the front and putting it together. But there's a lot of fabrication that has to be done in and around there that you don't generally see. And today, you get to see. It's going to keep going until I like it. Keep going until I like it. Burnt that one off. That's how easy it is. Keep the heat down. I have no chance for warpage. Do I? 
hoping. Chad, do you know where the other air hose is? Just go at the door. Yeah. Go, go at the door and bring that one in and I'll hook it up for you. Okay. Just trying to make sure. Basically, that's the end of it. Just trying to make sure I don't warp it. Do not want to warp it. That one fell off. The best way would have been able to do it was to get it right the first time. Where I've cut it off too shy, that's where it causes me to, to go back welding. If I would have cut, made the right cut the first time. Yep. That's right here, bud. Get on. Thank you, sir. No problem. My mic went off. I feel it pulled in my pocket. You want to grab it and put it on? Please and thank you, sweetheart. It's up over my shoulder here somewhere, like it's down on my arm for some reason. How we? Alrighty, back to work. Back to work. Move this thing out of my face so I don't feel like I got something in my face. Back to work. Back to work. Let's see if I can get this. I want to get this welded up and put it on there so you can see if the door gap looks better. Come on. nice just to sock it right to it and weld it up, but it's not the way to do it. You get yourself in trouble. What happens? rod for filler. Aiden. Yes, sir. Can you tell, can you tell the camera 
what you're trying to make them pieces fit and how they're trying how they're supposed to fit sure go ahead let's try and you know why I asked that is because if you can explain it you should obviously know right no. if you can explain it. if you can't explain it then you might not know okay go right. for it <laughs> let's see how it goes Trying to make these pieces fit and these slots in there. Right there. Just so that it caps it over and caps this part here. But Chaz told me not to do this part because it's higher up. So it's just supposed to come from this line and then around there. And it should just be in on this lip so that the weld covers it over so we can grind it back and make it look like this and very flush and nice. Small explanation. Awesome. You might be in trouble now, Aiden. She might not take the camera off you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> might be in trouble now. Show them how it's done, man. Chad. Yes. And your new pad. Huh? You got a new pad? Right up in the Here? thrush. Thrush drawer there. Here, I'll get it. Bump, bump, bump. Right in that whole thing right there. Okay. Hopefully there's some in there. If there's not, you just ask Jolene. She'd probably restock it. <laughs> Would you, I'll, baby? I'll get it. Whoop, whoop. My baby restock it. Getting close, getting close. Three more to weld up. It's nice when you can continue on, just weld along, have, you know, not worry about anything, but I have to worry about shit. <laughs> Sorry, excuse my licorice, I'm trying to keep it down. I have to worry about stuff. Don't know why that slipped out. Maybe I need to take one. Um, yeah, I have to worry about this sort of stuff. So that's why I try to, you know, that's why the welding don't look the greatest sometimes. I'm trying to plop it on one spot at a time or a couple at a time. And that's why it looks the way it does sometimes. Mainly, you just want to get it welded up and hope there's no pinholes in it. I know that <laughs> today's mic is around my armpit and around my arm. It feels funny. It feels funny. You do that on purpose, Joey? They know they can hear you. Okay, hear you today. One day they can hear you. One day you get the earmuffs on. One day you get the earmuffs off. But one thing for sure, beautiful as ever. Got her safety glasses on. Got her safety shoes on. Whoop whoop. She's doing good today. Sparkling.
there to it. If I would have just used the one rod and tried to weld that on there, it would have just burned off, fell off. That's why I'm using two. Touch it with my hand, see what's going on. Not bad. I can tell where they hit it. There and there is where it's hot. I'm gonna get right for the air after this one because I've hit it quite a few times. That's why I've hit it a few times. Get the air on it. Pull it off. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That's alright, baby. It's okay. Well, it is what it is. This is feeling funny. That's okay. That's okay, sweetheart, man. All right, I'm going to take that off. Try the door on. Checking for my mic. Everything's okay. You okay? Everything good? Take that off. The ground. Aiden's making his pieces fit. Make the door fit. Too close there now. And I still need some in the middle. You can see or I can see. It's too close there, but I need just I need a little more in the middle. Sorry, sweetheart. And I'll add some to it and then I'll grind it off to make it look like something. That's what I'm going to do. I have the edge of this all to weld up on this edge of this thing here. I'm going to show you, I guess. So I'm going to do. Take this off. Nope. I'm going to put it back on for a second. Excuse my licorice. Why did I do that? Put it back on for a second. I want to mark it. I want to mark it. Put that there. I want to mark it. Can't handle that. it off. Let's get her done. Let's go for it. This is what it's about today, I guess. How to make door gaps. Exactly how to, that's how I'm going to do it. How to make door gaps. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to step it up a little bit and I'm going to put more meat on there and I'm going to use a coat hanger that I got from Malcolm. I'm going to use a coat hanger I got from Malcolm. The rods there are a bit small. I'm going to step it up a bit. Malcolm was nice and kind enough, and his father was kind enough to bring me that Pepsi box and some coat hangers. Basically, that's what I'm going to do. Coat hanger it up. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. <laughs> Try to weld it up a different way.
Going to switch it up. Going to try to weld her up. Put more meat on. You don't realize how long it takes to do something until you got to go do it. Just sticking caterpillars on her. Grind her off and make it look good. Need the product to fill the gap. Also, Aiden, yeah. as you're doing that, you also can, if you're close, I mean, if you're close to getting it on or close to fitting, sometimes what I'll do when I, you know, I'm trying to speed myself up or do whatever, if it's close, you can always tack it on where it's nice and yeah. then grind and then flush it off after when it's tacked on. Once it's on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once so it's keep that in mind if you're having a problem with any of it, holding it and sanding it. Yeah. Once you tack it on there. You can you could sand it back to where you need it if if you need be. Okay. Just have that in your arsenal. Gotcha. In your arsenal.
this is not what I want to do all the time is to come back and lay and lay a steel rod in on something I've cut short but when you're making door gaps uh, sometimes this is what you got to do to get it done not all the time but sometimes this is what you got to do to get it done Also, when I'm blowing it off, when I'm blowing it off with the hose, when I'm welding, I was out here last night blowing, you know, welding that up. I really didn't want to go in the house until I know nothing's on fire, you know. But when you're blowing it off with the hose, sometimes it, you feel safer that nothing's on fire because it is cool. All right, I'm going to put this door on. The trick of, I guess, I don't know, the trick or not, I guess the trick of the door is when I, when I put the door on, I want to make the door the highest. What I mean by the highest is out the furthest because then the filler will have to go on the truck itself. If I leave, if I leave the door in low, that means I'm going to be putting filler on the door and the truck. If I try to keep the door out as high as possible, I can keep the door as thin as possible and put your mud on your truck, on your on this part and this part. And that's just a little trick. I'm mean, not saying that anything other that that's the trick that you try that I use that I use to keep my doors looking the best they can. I put the filler on this part and this part. It's not going anywhere. It's you know prep the metal perfect or whatever you want to do, prep it right, put your filler on, it's not going anywhere, you're not going to, unless you smash it, and then you'll have to fix it like anything else. When you put the mud here, it does not matter. But when you have it on the edge of the door, you sure can tell very quickly, very quickly, what the door is all about. Let's go here for a second, just for shits and giggles. not look at your door before. I'm looking at it right now. Come take a look at it. See how thin that door is? See how thin that door is? There's no fixing fixing going on there. We'll take a look underneath the underneath the the door. See so you can see that seam all the way across. It's got rust coming out. Yes it does. You also can see that someone's re-seam sealed it before. Factory wouldn't look like that. 
I wouldn't think. But the door is not bad. It needs some crown penetrant put on it, sweetheart. That's what we should do, spray some crown penetrant on it. Someone has probably stripped it down and did not undercoat it before the, after they paint it. That's basically all it is. But you can see how thin that door is. Watch this. That door is out there a little bit. I could make that door fit perfect by putting a little filler on that. Or you can set the door in a little bit. Yes, you can with the latch. You can try to. Yes, you can. Best you can. But you still want the door the farthest out so you can put the filler on the, on the quarter panel. So when you block them together, the filler's on here, not on the door edge. So basically, that's what I'm doing here. Just trying to make this door gap, this door here, the best I can. Or out the highest I can. And then the filler will go on the outside parts to make it look the way it should. I'm hoping that we got enough filler on the bottom of it. I'm done welding the bottom of the door. <laughs> I'm done. And that's just because I try to want to put a good line on it, that's all. I got too good of a line on the other side. It doesn't fit at all. Alrighty. I'm happy with that. I gotta take some off. I'm happy with that. You can see how that fits now. I'm happy with that. I do not want it any anymore then I'll just cause myself some trouble because I got I still gotta grind some off. I still gotta put filler on this. There's no way of, there's no way around it. I still have to put clean sandblast this off, put filler on this side and the top side. And I cannot just put it on the corner. I have to feather it out and have to feather it on the top. I have to filler all the way around here. As you can see this here now, as I've got this up here a little bit, see there? The filler would have to go on this side. I can keep that door as thin as I want to. Sack say way along the bottom. On the back side here, I'm in here a little bit. I'm down a little bit, so I'm going to take that door off. I'm come on this way a little bit. You want to take a look from the other angle? When I do this one, I'm going to have to pound this door, door skin out a little bit and get it high as this or higher. This is a high spot. I don't want to put the filler there on the door. I'd have it thicker there. So I want to get that out a little bit. Filler goes on this side. Basically, that's what's going on there. I'm going to go see how Aiden's making out. Just because I can. How you making out, Aiden, man? Doing all right. He's trying to get the, that little corner. To ah. Right there. Wow, look at that, would you? Come take a look, you poo poo. Looks really good. Now, there's a little weld there. We'll, we'll snip, we'll grind that little two welds back there. That's holding that piece down. Once you weld that all the way across, it's going to hold it all down, so we don't need that. That was holding that in place. Okay. We'll just grind that back a little bit and let you slide in there better. Looks really good. You got one for the bottom or asking too much? <laughs> one so far. <laughs> He's doing good, man. Like, I mean, if you're getting a patch fit like that, see, you're, see, you're going a little bit beyond me. I probably wouldn't have it fitting that nice. I probably would attack it where I look good and I run the grinder over, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy that you're, that you're going that far. But it's going good. That's what Aiden's doing. You can see I'm adding metal on the bottom of the door. I'll have to grind that off and add some more metal on it. Just keep on going, baby. We're good? Alrighty, everybody. We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. I don't know. She's going to sell her car or not. She's, she, she's having second thoughts. It's looking good. It's yellow and it's small and it's pretty. Let's go up to the computer and give away a hat or a shirt. I want to thank everybody for watching and uh, for all the comments and all the likes and all the shares oh yeah if you if you like you might as well share it to somebody I guess you may as well why not Joey you've been drinking again <laughs> Aiden you've been drinking oh no no oh, that was from the weekend I guess everybody get past that one it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia we had some company this morning already Good people come in the door, you know that? We have a lot of good people that come here. Don't we, baby? Mm -hmm. A lot of good people that come here. Happy with the show. Some people come here because they watch the YouTube or the Facebook. Other people come because they watch the show. We welcome you all. Unless the gate's up. <laughs> I laugh at my own jokes. Aiden doing a fantastic job on the hinge there. Uh, he gets two of those made and two of those welded on today. He will have done well. Won't you, Aiden? You get two of those made and two put on, welded, you, you will have done well. Thank you. I think so. It's, it's 2 o'clock. I mean, I mean, 10 to 4. 
<laughs> All right, Joe Putt, awesome. Awesome, I'm glad he won. That's cool. He, Joe Putt is the guy that has done the rendering of the truck. We're trying to stay true to the last one that he's drawn. It looks pretty good, I'm happy with it. Uh, but Joe Putt deserves a hat no matter what. Joe Putt. Uh, looking, looking good, thanks for what you guys do. People are addicted to your show because you guys are honest, real, and you can tell it all comes from the heart and, I, and, and what your brain tells you. Very true, very true. We were talking about that this morning, you know. Um, we were, I was telling the guy that um, he watched the show and, and uh, we do YouTube now, and I just told him the YouTube is just a touch more realer than the TV because of we show all our mistakes when we film them. <laughs> we do not cut it, we do not edit. It is what it is, and uh, we appreciate that you can see that. We really can. Thanks, Joe Putt. Thanks for the picture. Thanks for everything. Have a good one.